Hi guys, this is the Rugby Guru and today we'll do the Blues preview for Super Rugby 2020. Starting off with the props, um, you've got Carlton Agafi who missed out on the World Cup due to injury. So he'll really be angry to to make the number one uh, position his own. Um, I really think he's an incredible player. Um, He's big, strong, and uh, more than capable of carrying the Blues back. Um, next is Ofa Tuanga Fasi, along with um, Carl Tunagafi, will probably form uh, the props for the Blues. Um, both of them are All Blacks, and I'm really looking forward to see um, how they perform in this competition, as they could potentially be the All Black um, Props. Then you've got um, Alex Hodgman, more than capable, um, a newcomer in Ezekiel Lingamund, um, haven't seen too much of him just yet. Then we've got um, Sione Mafilio, um, also more than capable of replacing any injured players. Um, Carl Renata, also an incredible player. Then moving on to the hookers, we've got James Parsons, who's the veteran in the squad. Um, I don't know how how much of a of an influence he will have on this team, but I think to form a, a combination with Carlton Agafi and Ofa Tuangafasi is great for the Blues. A lot of experience coming in, and we'll have to wait and see. Then um, we've got Ray Nuya from uh, Samoa, a great backup player for James Parsons. Like I said, James Parsons are a veteran, so Ray Nuya will probably um, fill in the position in case uh, Parsons needs to be rested, so a more than capable uh, replacement for James Parsons. Then they've got the new guy in Kurt Eklund. Um, heard he's playing very well, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, the locks. You've got uh, Patrick Tuipilato who probably wants to make the number four jersey his own with um, Sa Sam Whitelock and Brody Retallick gone now. He's got a great opportunity to cement his place in the All Black starting lineup if he do have a great Super Rugby, which I honestly believe he will have. Then they've got Jared Cowley Tuyoti. Um, I've been watching him for a while now and I must say I'm quite impressed with him. Um, I wouldn't say he is all black material at the moment but he's not that far off. So there's going to be a great competition between him and Joss Kudyu. Um I think Joss Kudyu can improve a lot. Um, he's one, one of those players that if he improved this year will probably knock on the All Black door. Um, I'm surprised that he hasn't become an All Black just yet. So it all depends on whether he is uh, going to stay fit. Then they've got also um, Jacob Pierce. I don't know too much about him. I haven't really seen him in action before to really rate how good he is. So good back up there. And then a new guy in Aaron Carroll. We'll have to see whether he can develop into a good player. The loose forwards, um, we've got Blake Gibson, who has been probably one of the most unluckiest guys in uh, New Zealand. He really looked like a potential All Black in the past, but injury kept him from uh, really reaching his potential. So if he can stay uh, free of injury, he could have a really big impact in this blue side. David Papali'i, um, don't have to say more. He's one of those all-black players that the Blues will value throughout this competition. He um, probably will form the loose trio with Blake Gibson and uh, Akira Yuani. So let's hope and see he goes uh, free of injury. Then we also have um, Tom Robinson. He's become somewhat of a local hero in Auckland. I have seen him play before and I do rate him as a player. So I really hope 
that he stays fit and free of injury he could also be knocking on the all black door soon then the man of or the player of the team uh, Kira Ioane um, for me is probably the best loose forward in New Zealand at the moment he's been bad luck not to not to make the all black jerseys own had to compete with Ari Surveyor and uh, Kieran Reed. So if Kieran Reed gone now, it's probably his time. Then a new guy, Wayama Rittlinger Kappa. Um, I haven't seen him play yet, so I can't really rate him as a player. But uh, lots of good things have been said about him. Tony Lamburn from the USA. Good backup if there's injuries. And also James Tucker from an import from the Chiefs. Then scrum offs, um, we've got Jonathan Ruru, which I also rate very highly. Um, he's, f he's got a very fast delivery. Um, he's got sniping abilities. He uh, delivers the ball very quickly to his back line. Plays good with the forwards. So another player that has a lot of potential in him. And 2020 might just be easier then Sam Nock, also another player that it's a kind of a nippy scrum off. I also think um, between him and Jonathan Ruru, maybe to rotate them throughout the, throughout the season would be good. They play a very similar game, so between the two you won't have a lot lost. Then they also got um, Finley Christie, import from the Hurricanes probably a good backup if one of them do get injured um, next up we've got the fly offs probably the signing of Super Rugby 2020 Bowden Barrett whether he will have that much of a big influence in the team we'll have to wait and see because there are lots of talks in his contract for resting and so on they'll probably use him at fullback as well so between 10 and 15 we have um, Steven Perifetta he can also play fullback but I would probably say he will slot in at the number 10 spot for now with Bowden Barrett probably moving to fullback young guy with a lot of talent I do see him as one of the rising 10s in New Zealand unfortunately he's competing with a lot of talent Otero Black is the next guy. Um, lots of talks have been talked about him. Um, a lot of people said he is also the next solution for the All Blacks at 10. Didn't quite deliver. Um, he always had to play in the shadow of somebody else. So basically he will be a backup for the Blues yet again. Then they've got Harry Plummer, under 21 player that came through and I'm really looking forward to maybe see him play one or two games as a fringe player just to see how good he is and then they also have Jack Highton which I can't really rate because I haven't seen played um, the midfielders we have TJ Fayani he's one of those centers that basically does everything breaks the line can sidestep he gets over the advantage line which make him such a good player and He's also a very good defender, so I would probably say that DJ Fayani and Rico Ioani will combine in the center combination. Here's the man Rico Ioani, he's moved from wing to, to center. Whether it will work, maybe it will improve his play. He had a bit of an average year last year, he got dropped out of the All Black team or out of the starting lineup. So it's a big year for him as well to really cement his place in the team and with some of the big names gone this might be his chance. Um, Joe Massant from the English uh, youth squad a lot have been said about his talent I haven't really seen him play before so I can't really rate him they do say he's one of the up-and-coming uh, England players so hopefully he can develop his game a little bit more and go back to England then we've got Danila Talia. Um, I haven't really seen him play before, but a lot have also been said that he's quite exciting players. 
Then you go to your outside backs um, with Caleb Clark. I heard the other day that he might be concentrating on sevens this year. So whether he will have a big influence in the squad will have to be wait and seen. Um, I do really like him. He's a solid wing. Um, he can really defend well as well. So a good addition to have in the squad. Then Matt Duffy. Um, oh, I don't know if he's going to be a first choice uh, wing for the Blues. He's a bit old now. But he still adds a lot of value to the squad. So I still rate him as a player. And I think with him and Caleb Clark maybe combining on the wings for a starting lineup. Then they got Jordan Highland as well, which I don't really know too much about. Um, Imoni Narawa is a quite a, a speedster, so a good addition to have. Jared Page, uh, import from Rugby League. Um, whether he can make up the step to Rugby Union will have to be wait and seen. And he'll probably also get quite a few chances. And then Mark Talia, a youngster from the New Zealand under-21s. A great opportunity for him to come through as well this season.